All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am here today to talk to you about success being an internal job, not an external job, and you getting to gauge what is successful for you. And there's so many things in my mind right now, so this might be a little disjointed, but we're going to do our best. So yesterday, I had a little bit of a downer day. I was dealing with some things with the Half Size Me business that were not making me feel great. And you start to go down these rabbit holes of you know, am I doing a good job? Is this successful? And I listened to a podcast on how to use boundaries to help you with success. And the thing she said in there, um, I think it was the Beyond Bitchy podcast, love her, she's great, it was that success when it comes to business or all endeavors is are you doing meaningful work in the world? It's not how much money you make, it's not how many likes you get, it's not how many followers you get. It's really answering that simple question. Am I doing meaningful work in the world? And am I, am I enjoying the process? And the answer is yes, I'm doing meaningful work in the world. So it's funny, for a moment I was distracted with this idea of success based on maybe a complaint or an issue. And I wasn't taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture. On another note, I had a client who left me a Voxer yesterday. She said she's been going to this little ice cream shop every day, getting ice cream as we had discussed, because when she brings home pints of ice cream, she overeats and her husband made a non, he didn't mean anything by it, but he made the comment, if your goal really is weight loss, do you think it's a good idea to go get ice cream every day? So he's an outside observer, he's interjecting into this. And I left her a message and I said, this is success for you. What your husband doesn't see is when you go to the grocery store and you buy four or five pints of ice cream and you say, I'm only gonna have X amount and you end up eating way more and it gets out of control. You actually going to the restaurant, like we've talked about for months and months and months, right? You going to the restaurant and doing this is actually a huge success. But her husband, this external factor, doesn't necessarily see it. So she needs to be very confident in herself and say, no, for me, going to a restaurant and getting a small ice cream every day and making it work within my calories and not bringing home pints of ice cream is a success, okay? I had another client who I'm trying to help work on tracking 100% consistency, even if she has three candy bars, even if she were to overeat cheese and tortillas, it doesn't matter. Just track it, like become non-judgmental. And I shared with her a story that I had not really thought to share with anybody, but back in 2012, when I first started Half Size Me, I was putting out my food logs on the website and I was sharing it publicly. And I went to a mom meetup with our kids and there was a mom who was there who checked out my, my website and she made a comment to me. She goes, wow, you know, I see you put your food logs out <laughs> and you eat a lot of chocolate chips and Cool Whip. <laughs> and I said to her, and so, so she makes this comment and it would have been so easy for me to feel shame. It would have been so easy for me to stop doing certain things or to be um, feeling badly about myself. But in that moment, I was shocked actually. In that moment, I turned to her and I said, no, for me, that's success. Because what she didn't know is that was nothing compared to what I could have scarfed down in a binge episode, not to mention the fact I tracked it, not to mention the fact I put it out in the public. And what I was, what I was really proud of myself is it was about the honesty, transparency, authenticity, but she didn't understand that. She didn't know that. So the reason I'm sharing all of these examples, the business, the ice cream, the people criticizing or critiquing what you're eating, all those people are outside of you. They don't know the level of effort you're putting in. They don't know where you necessarily started from. They don't know the hurdles you've had to jump to get where you are. In your journey, the most important thing, and this is hard, is not to fall into comparison. You see somebody else doing something a certain way, thinking you should be there. Not allowing society to dictate what is successful for an online business, what is successful for weight loss, what is success when it comes to making progress. You have to define that for yourself. 
because if you allow it to be dictated by others, a husband, a well-meaning husband who thinks not eating ice cream would speed up the process, not knowing what his wife is doing at the grocery store, right? Uh, me publicly putting out what I'm eating and having things that people don't understand and questioning me, they don't know where I started from. I do. And so what I would encourage you to take from this video is clearly define success for yourself. I'm very clear on success when it comes to weight loss. Weight loss is not how much you lose. It's not how fast you lose it. It's really can you keep off what you've lost? Can you keep it off long term? And is it based on sustainable habits? That's really at the end of the day success for me with weight loss. It's not the before and after photos. It's the after, after, after photos. <laughs> you know, can we be five years out and still be doing this, right? Um, when it comes to my eating, am I 100% honest with what I eat? Do I hide things from myself? Or do I put it all in my food log? Do I show up transparent, honest? Do I do meaningful work in the world with my business? Because months, there's gonna be months the money is greater, the money is less. The likes are more, the likes are less. Um, you know, there's gonna be times people complain, right? But the question I have to center myself on is, is what I'm doing meaningful work? Does it, d does it fulfill me as a human being? Because if the answer is yes, then it's a success, right? But it has to be defined by you. So I want to encourage you, break away from the paradigm that says other people, institutions, BMI charts, whatever, tells you whether you've done a good job. Ask yourself, what's a good job to you? Look at your situation. What would show improvement for you? What's gonna show that you have gotten to the next rung of improvement or that you're doing a good job or that you know, really ask yourself because if you always leave it up to somebody else, if it's about a job review and, and, your, and your boss isn't perceptive and doesn't see what you've done, you may walk away from that feeling like, does it even matter what I do? Well, it matters if it's meaningful work to you, right? And if you feel you are doing a good job, but you have to check yourself first when it comes to your weight loss. Okay, maybe you lost two pounds this month, but maybe you take a step back and go, wow, I really start increasing my vegetables and getting in walks and doing all this stuff. And yes, the weight on the scale isn't substantial, but I see what I've done. I recognize it. See, that's the thing. It's like we're always externally looking for validation. We're always looking for someone else to pat us on the back and say, good job. Sometimes that won't happen. Sometimes that won't be there. Sometimes people won't understand. So for ourselves, we've got to know internally what it is we believe to be success for ourselves in various situations. So I hope that helps. Uh, I'd write all that out. What is success for you with work? family life, health, really kind of zone in on that. So that way, when you feel that comparison kicking and you see somebody else doing something with their family, you're like, wait a minute, but this is what success is for me with my family. Really ground yourself on that. You guys have a fantastic day. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to share these videos with anyone and let me know in the comments how I can better help you. You guys have a great day.